Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums or other source, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as AS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Charkiza, the summoner Warframe. Charkiza was created by Krylock on the Warframe forums and is designed to be a combination of a caster and tank warframe, but with a twist that Charkiza relies on summoned creatures to do her bidding. Charkiza possesses low health, low shield capacity, low armor, and a high energy capacity. At first glance, you would think that Charkiza is an extremely squishy warframe with a big energy pool, but this is where her passive kicks in. Although Charkiza can summon her creatures by simply casting her abilities normally, she can also hold down her respective ability keys instead in order to form a fragment of armor on herself, with each piece of armor having a different buff. In other words, tap to summon creatures, hold to summon a piece of magic armor. Charkiza gains 200 shields for each creature that is active, or 200 health for each piece of armor that is active. However, Charkiza's armor comes at a cost, as each piece of armor will drain 3 energy per second but this value can be modified with power efficiency. Hypothetically speaking, this would mean that instead of summoning any creatures, the player could run around with Charkiza's full set of armor so long as they have enough energy to keep up with consumption, all the while benefiting from the active buffs. It's fairly interesting that a caster Warframe has the ability to tank up by sacrificing some energy. Although having all four pieces of Charkiza's armor means that you'd be draining 12 energy per second as a base value. This can thankfully be reduced via power efficiency mods. The armor grants bonus effects while active as well, meaning that the player can essentially choose between spawning in a creature or manifesting a piece of armor, depending on the situation. It's an interesting kind of versatility, especially for a Warframe with stats that are this low. As interesting as this is, I have to say that this concept has a very distinct lack of stats, meaning that judging its viability will be difficult without concrete numbers. Regardless, the basis of each ability can still be looked at, to some extent. Charkiza's first ability is Aegean. If Charkiza casts Aegean normally, she summons an avian creature that drains the resistances of nearby enemies while also granting Charkiza and her allies over shields. If Charkiza holds down the first ability key instead, she instead manifests a helmet, which grants Charkiza protection against all incoming projectiles. Charkiza gains energy and deals an electric proc to nearby enemies for every instance of damage taken, but the shield can only absorb so much damage before collapsing. After collapsing, the shield reforms after a 5 second delay, which cannot be modified with mods. Although it's hard to get a proper grasp of this ability or the rest of her kit without proper stats, the basic idea is that Aegean functions as either a base supportive ability or a charged tanking ability. The armor version of Aegean sounds like a side grade of Mace's Shatter Shield, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Although the gain energy every time you take damage gimmick sounds interesting, this would force the player to get close enough to enemies to take damage to begin with, and for a Warframe with stats as low as Charkies is, I'm not so sure if that's a good idea, especially at high levels where enemies can potentially one-shot you, even more so if Charkies doesn't have much room to escape should she get close to death. Then again. Charkiza can simply build up her armor in the same way that Chroma can with Vex armor, so I don't think this would be a complete deal breaker. I think it would be better if the 5 second delay for the shield could be affected by mods, because sometimes 5 seconds is all it takes for a stray projectile to completely wreck your shit. Charkiza's second ability is Lotaros. If casted normally, Charkiza summons a horned animal, which pierces and damages enemies. If held down instead, Charkiza manifests Gauntlets, which grant Charkiza up to 40% increased damage with all weapons, based on how many enemies Charkiza kills while she has this active. Additionally, Charkiza deals increased damage with all melee finishers. While the effectiveness of the summoned creature is difficult to guess without stats, that doesn't mean the Gauntlets are without flaw. A maximum of a 40% increased damage buff with all weapons does sound nice. But considering that this is affected by how many enemies Charkiza kills, this implies that this is an ability that has to be ramped up over time, similar to how Chroma's Vex armor gives him better bonuses the more damage he takes. With that in mind, 
it's possible that Charkiza could struggle to get the most out of this buff if she doesn't have a build to deal with enemy armor or high enemy level. In the time it could take her to kill a level 120 enemy, she might have already drained a few seconds worth of energy. It's also possible that Charkiza could wear her first piece of armor at the same time, that way the provided shield would allow Charkiza to survive damage and or get up close if need be, but this of course would result in increased energy drain. Charkiza's third ability is Arachina. Upon normal cast, Charkiza summons a spider creature which focuses on crowd controlling enemies by knocking back enemies, shooting out web mines that pull enemies in before exploding, or releasing clouds of gas that deal damage. If held down, Charkiza instead manifests Greaves, which grant Charkiza permanent speed buff and also randomly drops web mines behind Charkiza while moving around. Again, it's difficult to judge how powerful the summoned spider would be without stats, but also again, the armor piece does have its share of problems. While the permanent speed buff is essentially irrelevant without a percentage to back it up, the randomly dropping web mines is rather odd. A Warframe ability that relies on sheer luck in order for its effect to kick in isn't exactly a good idea. As different as every Warframe's playstyle is, all of them are reliable in the sense that their abilities do what they're supposed to do upon activation. Shoehorning in a chaotic and random element into an ability of all things would never work, even for something as minuscule as dropping a mine, because luck is not a constant variable, meaning that this would never work as intended, no matter the player or circumstance. It would be better if Charkiza could instead drop a web mine herself by rolling. To prevent spamming, you could put in a cool down of 3 to 5 seconds, but that still gives Charkiza complete control of where and when to drop her web mines, making her greaves provide a more reliable effect. Charkiza's fourth ability is Hydras. Normally using this ability causes Charkiza to summon a triple-headed creature. One head spits acid, dealing corrosive damage against enemies. The second head sprays mist healing all nearby warframes. The last head targets nearby enemies with melee attacks. If held down instead, Charkiza manifests a chestplate, which grants Charkiza 200 armor every time she takes damage, up to a cap of 1200. Charkiza also generates a lethal aura, dealing a small amount of corrosive damage to all nearby enemies. The more damage that Charkiza takes, the more damage her aura deals, up to a cap. Just like everything else so far, the armor piece is a bit off. While the effect is certainly nice, reaching 1200 bonus armor with only 6 instances of damage needed seems way too fast. If anything, if the point is to get Charkiza to be an insurmountable tank, then the cap and her gained armor should both be changed. For instance, Charkiza could gain 75 bonus armor every time she takes damage, up to a cap of 2500 or some other equally ridiculous number. While the cap does sound absurd, keep in mind that having Charkiza's chestplate equipped forces her to constantly drain energy over time to keep it active, and on top of that, if she doesn't allow her bonus armor to properly ramp up, then she could very easily be blown up. This could again be offset by having her first armor piece active for the shield that it applies, but keep in mind that it doesn't last forever. With that in mind, here are Charkiza's scores. Although on the surface Charkiza is a very unique caster warframe with a very paper-thin set of stats to back her up, she can become a tank if need be, throwing her weaknesses as a caster out the window in favor of simply draining energy. For my personal thoughts, obviously I can't say anything conclusive without numbers, stats, or anything actual for Charkiza's summoned creatures or her armor pieces. Regardless, I very much enjoy the idea of a caster warframe that can essentially but temporarily adopt a new playstyle and role by draining energy over time. With a proper build, a player could run around with all these bonuses at once. Throw some power efficiency in there, and you could in theory keep those buffs active forever, so long as you have arcane energize and can find an energy orb every once in a while, and so long as you don't make it a goal to hug nullifier bubbles. Thank you for watching.